The National Transportation Safety Board is asking you to get off your phone and pay attention on the road. The NTSB says distracted driving is becoming an epidemic and is recommending a nationwide ban on cell phones and texting devices while driving. Maryland already has a similar law in place that bans texting behind the wheel. CTV News' Aisha Khan talks with one local woman about how a distracted driver changed her life and why she supports the proposal. It's this very intersection at Route 301 and Old Central Avenue where the lives of the Callahans change forever. All because instead of paying attention of what's around her, this distracted driver had her head down. I would hate for another family to go through what we've been. I mean, it's torn a lot, torn a lot of people up. It really has. Distracted driving. Rhonda Callahan knows it all too well. I know everybody thinks I can do it. I don't care if it's hands free or you're holding the phone, but everybody thinks they can do it. But she knows firsthand they can't. I guess in my mind, it's like, well, that's OK if you can do it. But if you can't do it and you kill somebody. Like her husband, Doug, he died and Rhonda was seriously injured last May after a teenage driver struck their car on Route 301. You know, when the police officers got there, she was clutching her phone. She was they said at the time she was texting. She was either texting or on the phone and um, just blew through, the, blew through the stop sign. That moment changed the lives of the Callahans, but it also had a profound effect, changing Maryland's law by putting a ban on texting while driving and the NTSB paid attention. I think it'll be hard. I think it'll be fought by a lot of people, but I think it's something that needs to be um, put in place because this, I have a sad story. It's proposing its own nationwide version, banning cell phone use of any kind behind the wheel because sad stories like Rhonda Callahan's are all too common and her attorney sees it all too often. The most common uh, accident that we see is, is situations where people are on a straightaway and unexpectedly a car stops to turn left into a driveway where you don't normally see cars stopping and somebody happens to be looking down at their cell phone and they hit the car. Callahan says driving alone is a concentration in itself. Throwing a cell phone in doesn't really help. That's why she won't give up the fight. Getting involved with legislation and, you know, to get things changed, to, to, to um, get the laws changed because I think that's part of making people um, or holding people accountable for their actions. Reporting in Upper Marlboro, Aisha Khan, CTV News. And certainly this proposed ban is getting some reaction from local residents. They say there are many other distractions that can get in the way when driving, but they aren't sure just how well the ban would work, even though they would like for it to pass. I'm kind of optimistic, so, you know, I mean, Pretty much if it's for, like I say, for the root, for general safety of others and um, concerns of others, yes. I've seen many, many examples of people reading newspapers, putting on makeup, eating French fries and doing lots of things. Uh, so I, I think they need to be concerned, but I don't know that a total ban will ever work. If the board gets its way, the use of all electronic devices other than a GPS would be banned except for in emergencies.